Hello friends. In this video, we will control the most common unipolar 5 volt stepper motor 28BYJ48 with the help of ULN2003 stepper motor driver and Arduino. Here is our stepper motor 28BYJ48. In the last video, we saw how it works. If you want to know the theory of this motor so that you can modify the code that we will learn in this video, then please watch that video before watching this video. The link of that video is showing in the top right corner of this video. For this project, we need a stepper motor, an Arduino Uno board or other versions of Arduino board, a ULN2003 motor driver, stepper motor driver board, and a 9 volt or 5 to 12 volt battery with its clip and a breadboard and some connecting male to male or male to female jumper wires. You will get all these components at any electronic online store or you can buy all these components from our website at the base price. Our YouTube viewer will get the link to download the code at the description of this video and as usual our, our website customer will get the latest codes and other latest articles related to that product in their email after successfully delivered the product. The link and list of the components are given in the description of this video. The motor has four phase. That's why it has four wires and one common wire from all the phase that is this red wire. First, we have to connect this motor to our ULN2003 motor driver board. So let us insert it, our motor driver board. Okay. In the board, we can see there are four pins, IN1, IN2, IN3, and IN4. We will connect these pins to Arduino pin, pin number 8, 9, 10, and 11. That means IN1 to pin number 8, IN2 to 9, IN3 to 10, and IN4 to 11. So let us connect this first IN1 to pin number 9, sorry, to pin number 8. Then IN2 to pin number 9, IN3 to pin number 10, then IN4 to pin number 11. Now we have to supply an external power from 5 volt to 12 volt to this board because the Arduino won't be able to supply sufficient current to this board. So first we will connect the positive terminal of this 5 to 12 volt pin to our positive terminal of our battery. We first insert this positive terminal of this 9 volt battery to this row of the breadboard and negative terminal to this row of the breadboard so that we can use this entire row as negative and this entire row as positive that is positive terminal of this battery. Now we will connect and wire from the positive terminal of this board that is this plus 5 5 to 12 volt pin and we will connect it to our battery positive terminal and from the negative terminal of the board that means from this this one so from this one we will connect a wire and we will connect the add another terminal of the wire to our negative terminal and also we have to connect a wire from the negative terminal that means from the ground terminal of our from our Arduino board to the negative terminal of the battery so that everything has a common ground. Now our connection is ready. Here is the sequence that we have to follow to run this motor properly in full step mode and in counterclockwise rotation. So here we can see in step number one, that means this one, only IN1 should be on. That means only IN1 pin should be high and other pin that is IN2, IN3 and IN4 should be off. 
in step number two only ion two should be on and other should be that is ion one ion three and ion four should be off in step three only ion three should be high and other should be low and in step four only ion four should be high and other should be low so thus we have completed four steps that is step one step two step three and step four then we have to repeat this step in the same sequence that means after four step four then we have to repeat from step one then then the motor will continuously rotate in counterclockwise direction so now let us see the sequence of clockwise direction to run this motor in clockwise direction we have to follow this sequence these sequence are opposite to the sequence of counterclockwise direction that means in step number one we have to make this ion 4 pin high and other should be low that is ion 1 ion 2 ion 3 should be low in step one then in step two only ion 3 should be high then in step 3, ion 2 should be high and in step 4, ion 1 should be high. Then we have to repeat these steps. So let us now see the code. Here is our code for counterclockwise direction. At first, we have defined the pin numbers. That is, ion 1 is connected to Arduino pin 8, ion 2 is connected to 9, ion 3 is connected to 10 and ion 4 is connected to pin number 11 of the Arduino. Then in the void setup, we have to define this ion1, ion2, ion3, and ion4 as output. Then in the void loop section, from here to here, this is step number one. That means is in step number one, we make this ion1 high and other is low. That is ion2, ion3, ion4. Then we have to introduce this delay of 10, 10 milliseconds. This delay is important because if you will not deep introduce this delay the program may that means the motor may not work properly then this is the step number two in which we have just make ion to high and other low other pins are in this case low then this is delay for step number two then same this is for three only th ion three is high and this is step number four only ion four is high now let us upload this code and see what happens now we can see the motor is rotating in anti-clockwise direction and also these leds are blinking this shows the step now we will upload the code for clockwise direction First, let us understand the code and then we will upload this code. So, this is the code for clockwise direction. Everything is same. Only the difference is that in the first step, here only we make this pin number 4 that is ion 4 high instead of ion 1 in case of counterclockwise direction. So, first we have this pin high, we have made this pin high, then in the second step, we have made this pin high that is ion 3 high then ion 2 high then ion 1 high so let us upload this code and observe the output so now we can see the motor is rotating in clockwise direction this leds also shows the sense in step in the next video we will see how to control this stepper motor to a specific position so that we can control to a desired position. thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos and also you can buy electronic components projects sensors boards modules from our official website www.dpvtechnology.com at the best price link is given in the description or you can click the link shown here thank you